Hey YouTube, what is going on? Carter here. Got another video for you. This is on the awesome, the splendid, the amazing Benchmade Contigo. In particular, this is a special edition from Knifeworks. It's an exclusive configuration that they have ordered, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. But this is really a review on the Contigo itself, because this is the first Contigo that I have ever owned. I have not owned any of the regular production Contigos, and I gotta say, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this knife. I can't believe I didn't jump on this in the past, because this is really an amazing, large, tactical folder, and I am ecstatic about what they're offering here. But let's get into some specifications before we uh, get too far deep into the rabbit hole on this knife. We are looking at a really large blade, four inches. Look at that, that is a large blade, just over nine inches overall. So very, very large, very, very cool, very, very nice. Absolutely love this thing. Let's get a weight on this knife. It comes in at 5.7 ounces, so it is nothing to bulk at. It's got some heft to it, but in my opinion, it is nothing ridiculous at all. This thing is splendidly beautiful. Features the axis lock, as you can see right there from Benchmade. G10 handle scales. Steel blade, obviously. This one is M390, which is part of the uh, special edition specifically through knife works. The regular steel is uh, M4, CPM M4, which is amazing, amazing stuff. But going with the M390, they're able to do a satin finish. Benchmade does not want to do a satin finish on the M4 blade because of its uh, tendency to rust. So you can only get the regular Contigo in Cerakoted finishes, either clear, which kind of gives it a, a grayish muted color, or the black Cerakoted finish, uh, which is, you know, what they offer with all their black blades. Uh, but being the M390 blade, you can get this in their really cool satin finish. And this one is kind of a satin stonewash hybrid type thing. If I can get a close-up here. Uh, almost there. Let's see if we can. There we go. So from a certain angle, it looks stonewashed. But then when you see, there's stonewashed, right? Oh, it's a stonewash blade. But then from other angles, it actually looks satin, and you can see the grind lines. I'm not really getting that coming through on the camera as well as I would like, but trust me, in person, it's a really cool effect. Depending on how you look at it, it's either stonewashed or it's satin or it's kind of a combination of the two. So, so really quite cool. We've got thumb studs on here, dual thumb studs, access lock like I mentioned before. This thing is super buttery smooth, no blade play, up, down, left, or right. It's rock solid lockup, G10 scales like I mentioned before. Uh, this has the same pattern as the regular Contigo as it's offered. However, this particular edition has a black and blue alternating pattern. So when they cut into it with the scallops on the side right here, you get this cool black and blue feathering type effect going through. Looks really nice, I like it, adds a splash of color. This edition also has smooth G10 right here. The regular Contigo has uh, G10 texturing right here. So it, it does kind of give a smoother feeling um, in the handle, like I said, I haven't actually handled a regular Contigo, but I can imagine what that would feel like with the G10 texturing, but none of that matters because this thing has probably the grippiest grip out of all the knives I own. It is jimped to the max. You've got heavy jimping up here in the steel liners. You've got jimping coming back here, and this is all very hard cut right there. You have jimping down here, down here, down here, all over the place. I mean, you really lock your hand into this thing. You have a nice finger choil. You get two fingers up in here, two fingers down there, if you know what I'm talking about. You get your thumb up here, and this thing feels really good. The ergonomics on this knife are absolutely outstanding. I absolutely love this thing. It's really, really good. It's a good knife. Um, perfect thickness in the handle. I like the way this thing feels. It feels so good. You can see how centered it is. And that is a centered blade right there. You're not gonna get any more centered than that. 
you can see the the distance right there the thickest part is really spot on speaking of which look how thick that blade stock is i think it's 4.5 millimeters somewhere around there really thick all the way to the edge look how thick that tip is this thing is meant for some hard use don't let this uh, kind of swedge cut out fool you it's got this thickness all the way to here before it actually starts to taper off this blade shape is outstanding it's kind of like a reverse tonto i think they're calling it uh, kind of a sheep's footish type thing i really like it it reminds me of the uh, hinderer skinner blade that he's come out with recently a little bit different uh, but it's very similar I really, really like it. You're going to get tons of cutting performance on this thing. Excellent tip strength. You can stab this through all kinds of stuff, especially with the M390 steel. Um, amazing, amazing steel for this knife. Very impressed with that, indeed. Um, back to the ergonomics. Absolutely splendid. Feels great in your hand. Um, I think probably the thing that, that I really like about this is... It's just, it's well balanced. The handle is not heavy at all. It feels like it should be really heavy, but it is not. Uh, skeletonized liners, like you can see right there. So you have the strength of steel liners, but they're skeletonized to remove the weight. The strength of the access lock, really thick blade. This is a tactical knife meant for a lot of use. You could use this as a hard use knife. No problem at all. Steel backspacer right there. I believe the regular Contigo has a glass breaker. This one does not have a glass breaker. Tip down, right hand, left hand carry, deep carry, pocket clip. So not a lot exposed. I would actually prefer the regular three hole configuration. Um, I'm not a big fan of the deep carry, but no big deal, doesn't matter. Two holes right there. I could actually, I believe I can put a regular pocket clip on here, the three hole configuration, and just not have that middle hole actually function, but I don't think I'll do that. Really good action. I'm starting to love this axis lock, guys. I used to kind of be a little skeptical about it. Look how thick that stop pin is. Really, really overbuilt. Um, I used to be kind of skeptical with the access lock mainly just the fact that it's held in place by springs i it just made me feel uneasy but uh this knife in particular has really kind of turned it around for me it is absolutely beautiful look at that look how it catches the light this thing is sweet i would recommend picking this up if you can uh this is a regular price point guys um, in fact this is actually cheaper this special edition M390, well, I call it special edition, whatever you want to call it, special order. It seems like Knifeworks has been doing this for a while. They, they've they been doing these runs and, you know, they'll, they'll get more in. But uh, this is actually, looks like it's about 10 bucks cheaper than just what most places are charging for the regular um, Contigo. So if you're interested in this configuration, I would not hesitate to jump on that because that is a killer deal. Like 175 bucks, guys, for a U.S. made knife with an amazing lock, amazing steel, great ergonomics, solid, solid build. Everything is absolutely perfect on this thing. And it is a big knife. It is not anything to uh, bulk at. It is a large knife, and it is super sweet. My favorite Benchmade that I've ever had in my hands. I'll say that much right now. Out of all the Benchmades I've had... You know, and I've never been a huge Benchmade guy, but I've had a few in my hands. Particularly now. I've actually got more Benchmades now than I ever have before. This is my favorite design so far. I would definitely recommend picking one up if you can. Thanks for watching the video. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think of this knife. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, and until the next one, I'm out of here. You guys take it easy. Later.